Hey guys, the Obsidian Horse here, and we are back for another Minecraft tutorial video today. This aircraft isn't up in the air, unlike that one. The, the same type of aircraft, except that one, you can tell the wings are different than this A7. That kind of explains it right there. We are building an A7 Corsair II today, made by Vought. Uh, it's the it's famous. It's a Vietnam War era fighter bomber. There is a one single seat version and two seat version. Ours we're looking at how to build the single seat, and the wings kind of look a little bit like the Harrier jump jets because they are slightly slanted down. It can be kind of tricky to build, but we can handle it. It's known for its iconic uh, intake under the nose and has one single jet engine that its exhaust is in the back. Most of you will be happy to hear that its wingspan is 19, length of eight is 18, will not, I don't believe, fit in a Hangar 1 plot just by barely, so you can easily, if you want to, shorten the tail up one block to make this fit in a Hangar 1 plot for Naval Battle Zone, which I will be doing so, and if you do use any of my builds in Naval Battle Zone, I would prefer that you give me credit for them, since I found some people not giving credit, and if you don't give credit to me, I'm going to ask to have your build cleared. But yeah, let's launch into this and see what blocks we're going to be needing. The blocks we'll be needing are the following. Nether brick fence, magenta wool, pumpkin, lever, a black wool, nether brick stairs, a button, trap door, light gray wool, gray wool, stone brick stairs, stone brick slab, and glass. And t sadly, the description for this, the link for this text pack will not be in the description below. Uh, might be in a couple of my previous videos, but it looks like it's getting kind of funky. So looking at how to fix it. So yeah, let's launch first into this. So let's get a good building place. First thing we're going to do is place one black wall. Either side of that black wall, we're going to place a button. Let's grab the ones we're going to be using mainly. And then after we do that, we're going to place one light gray wall on top. One slab on either side of it. And then one slab on the front. And then flip the trap door up on either side of that frontward slab. Then on top of that, place gray wool, gray wool, gray wool, three, and then one dark gray wool in the front. On top of the middle one, place a slab, and then another gray wool on either side, slab on top of those. So that's what your nose should look like. Then on this middle one, you can place a lever flipped up there. And then scrub our glass down here, and glass on top of that. We can take our gray wall back a couple more blocks, so we can then place another brick stair behind that, and solid gray wall, and bring our cockpit, the three glass, all the way back. I'm just making sure we're perfectly lined up with the other one. It does not look like we are. Oh, it's because we're building it one block off from that other. Yeah, I think we're building it one block behind that one. Let me just figure this out. Yeah, so everything we really... That is called Minecraft Rigged Against Obsidian. If you see if, if there's an obsidian horse building something, it has to rain on it. So we're going to take our slabs back to the end of the cockpit. And fill in this with the light gray wall. And then that going up to level with the cockpit, this wall. And we can take this top wall back another. So one. We can do it another two, three, four five, six. And on the on the six one actually what I don't get it. My mistake in getting thrown off by that one being one block ahead. So we're gonna need these last two place slabs no. I wanna do the opposite of what I told you. Add two more wool to the end of what we had before. Then two slabs on top of those. Then another three wool Stair on top of the first one, then gray wall, stair on top of that one, then one gray wall, two gray wall, continue that again, two slabs on those, gray wall there, and then magenta wall in the middle. That's how it should be looking, is it? Uh, wait, what? What? With the magic of world edit, I have moved this 
So now we are level with the other one, making building a lot easier. So after we have our tail here, what we're going to add to the back of this is one stair. Then under that stair, we have to build it up to do so, is pumpkin. Great. Pumpkin. And the back of that pumpkin, you can place a button, that's optional. And then a trap door flip down on the side of the pumpkin. Under the pumpkin, we can place nothing. And then one block behind it, we can place one, two slabs, cover this up with wool. Actually, you can bring the second layer of wool all the way back up to the front. You can place wool right here. So that's what your tail should look like. And then stair. So here's some things for counting. Just pause here if you need assistance in our tail system. And then this middle wool, we can carry this all the way back to the front. There we go. And now we can take this side slab, one more back on either side. Yeah. Yes. And then do the same with all these other wool. Carry it all back. And now, once we're at this step, we're going to start doing our crazy slanted wing. We're going to add one more of all these to everything. So you should have a total of our set of slab, wool, slab. You should have a total of one, two, three, four, five of those. Now on this fifth one we placed, we're going to do two slabs sticking out from that top one. Then we're going to go in one and do another two. Then this is where it becomes tricky. We're going to go in one and down one and place one. So it should look like that. And then we're going to go down one again, so, so it would be kind of tricky, so it looks like that. Now once we have that, we're going to go in one for another two. And now that's our crazy slab pattern we should have. Side view of it, front view of how it should be looking, top view of how it should be looking. And just so now that we have all this, we can outline it all with wool. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. And now this last one right here, we can take this back four, so add three. Second one, we can do the same. Then we're going to bump it up and do three, three. And now this step, we're going to do three, 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 three. So your wing should make that shape. And now we can grab our magenta wool and where do we place it? We place it right where this is about to switch, right there. So top view, pause there. And now what we can do is down here where this wing's coming down, we're going to go one, two, three, four, one. Right? Yeah. And now that wing shape, exactly repeat that on the other side. But I'll do it with you just to get so we go two, in one, two, in one, and this is where we do our crazy downward jog thing, in one, down one, and then down another, and then get the other slab back, so it should look like that, and then in for another two. Surround it all by wool, and then go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And now on this little area, go one, two, one, two, one, and then our magenta wool right there. So that's your, the top of your uh, A7 should be looking like so far. Now that we have that, we can bring this middle wool back level with the wing along with the slab under it. Bring that back. Bring the slabs back. Bring the slabs back. And now with level, with right your magenta wool, you're going to place a stair upside down. And then under that, two nether brick fence and a black wool with a button. So it should look like that. And then also under that stair, solid wool. 
So on the other side, let's do the same thing. So we are this right. Level with armor gentle wool. Place an upside down stair. Break that one. Place with the slab. Two fence. Black wool button. So that's what your little thing should be looking at. Let me set this today. And now that we have all that, we can bring continue bringing this middle wool all the way back and stop one short of the engine. So bring it all the way back and stop one short. And now with our slabs on top, we can bring it starting right behind the wing all the way back, but stopping one short of the last wool. Do it again on the other side. With our bottom slabs, we bring it all the way back in one sh short of the wall before the stair. All the way back, one short of the wing. That should be adding four after this landing gear. That's how it should be looking. See? Go over here. One, two, three, four. And now, it's for a kind of a tricky part, is doing our tail section. Off this wall, we're going to place another wall going out. In front of that, we're going to place two slabs. Then we're going to place two slabs going back. Then we're going to place three slabs going back. And then after that, we're going to place another two. So that's your tail should kind of look like. And that's it on the other side. So we're going to go two, then back one, two. Not going back one, three, but sticking the last one back, then going back one, two. And that's your tail section should be looking at. Like, and actually, that is it on how to build a Vought A7 Corsair II jet fighter slash bomber from the Vietnam War era. Hope you guys liked this tutorial video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to see more cool Minecraft tutorial videos like this, some more War Thunder videos coming out, and some more and Naval Battlezone videos. See y'all later, and I'll catch you in the next one.